this is a content creator that I think I've probably watched their videos before. It's probably not going to show on this account, but I have recently started watching them like more and I think they're super cool. So I wanted to watch this video because this has been something that's been kind of on my mind. This is called Does Being Cancelled Matter? Personally, the reason that this concept has been important to me because it very clearly doesn't. The whole concept of cancel culture is supposed to be forcing accountability upon people who've done things that are wrong. Except for the fact that ultimately the best way to respond to people trying to force accountability onto you is to ignore it and move on like nothing happened and to take as little accountability as possible and just literally never ever acknowledge or talk about it at all, even a little bit. What is the point of cancel culture if you could just come back and act like nothing happened and you'll probably be fine. Subscribe! Oh god, the whole buddy Ayu thing is so crazy too! I still don't understand why she's coming back to VTubing. If you've been perfectly successful as a fleshy, why not just stay a fleshy? Like, I just don't understand that shit <laughs> oh. People want to show the messages, release the messages, show the messages! I can't believe my eyes. Doxing. Manipulation and slandering. Cheating on your wife and talking to a nigga that was born after the tower spot. Being involved in a hate group that was planning the down- To be fair, unfortunately now, in 2024, people can have been born after 9-11 and be fully adults, which is so horrible. Was not so true in 2017, to be clear, because that was in 2001. But I guess this is just so more so me lamenting the nature of being a hag. That you could have been born after 9-11 and be 23. Wow. Downfall of another streamer. All these individuals were called up for their actions. Right there. Dipped out for a bit and came back. And it's yep. seemingly okay. Static Tokyo. Okay, let me clarify. I do believe people can change. However, it yes. still feels weird that you could do something like actually criminal, leave for a few months and come back and act like Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Wait, that's a movie. And come back and act like a saint. There we go. That, that makes more sense. I'll talk about a few examples. And remember, I kind of want to just see other people's opinions and pose the question. Does getting canceled, especially rightfully so in these cases, actually matter? I think cancellation is only effective if you feel very canceled by it. And also if you don't have much of your own fan base. I think that Dove specifically will struggle very very significantly because dove was never a very like super successful vtuber she didn't have like a huge fan base of her own she didn't have like a huge base of support who kind of just like with her regardless i don't think they don't have a very big safety net essentially and unfortunately she took a i mean she said that she done did it and joked about it several times and so like it's not like she can't now unacknowledge that she did that where like somebody like dr disrespect and even kage to a certain extent extent both of those people have larger fan bases particular to you and so they have like a safety net that prevents them from really having to take accountability or really needing to worry about it much because they have people that will be supportive of them regardless so i think it's only if you let yourself be canceled and only if either your audience turns against you which if you are very established is really difficult or comma if you um don't have much of your own audience to begin with that's when cancellation is really effective i'm not news or anything so please look into each incident i'm going to summarize for yourself if if you want to and feel free to correct me in the comments if i get a few details wrong again don't go harassing anyone that's bitch shit. Now, Bunny is a cosplayer and face cam streamer. She was right. also a VTuber, but has been called out for uh, a bunch of She had yeah. a whole feud with a VTuber by the name of- I watched like almost, a, I have like a two hour video watching a video that was almost almost an hour of stuff that they would, uh, they were, they was up to. That like, oh my God. Oh my God. There's so much with Bunny Ayu. It was crazy. I had no idea what I was getting into. Lana Laser years ago. Lana has a video talking about the situation. Please watch it to get more of the picture. But basically, they were doing business to make a figurine of Susu, Bunny's partner at the time. And uh, it was not business as usual, to say the least. Uh, Bunny was very hard to work with, with making multiple changes, and also not really helping promote the product that she wanted to make. Yeah. The shoddy want money or not. Like, she would post about the sh and then delete it later, and then come up with excuses as to why I'm Spider-Man. It literally does not make sense as to why she would do that. 
but you know. Now, shit starts hitting the fan even more here. Lana was invited to chill with a group of cosplayers. Nothing too crazy, but Lana don't really be dressing up, so she would just chill on the sidelines. I was just a cameraman. But she realized... Hmm. Saying that enough. Bunny is a weirdo. Buddy? She would get yeah. upset at other people copying her, which I'm guessing in this context means that other people dressed up as the same character, but she would end up body shaming other women. It'd be a lot of the best kind of yeah. if you act. Uh, again, I said this in the video of watching about Bunny Ayu, but like, what does it mean to copy as like a cosplayer? You're already copying. And again, that sounds like I'm being rude toward cosplayers. I'm not. What they do is actually super, super cool. And I'm very, ad I have a lot of admiration for the work they put into their cosplay. But like, you're already copying something that exists. That's like what a cosplayer is. Like, what, what are they copying? Me. She would also just get people to help her take down people that make her upset. But she would be on like some hitman because it oh, would God. be usually a silent takedown that would give your career tick damage, if you know what I mean. She would get passive aggressively mad if people she talks to didn't retweet her post. Relax. Cringe. Again, I already said this, but anybody who ever were to get upset at me for not retweeting their I will never talk to you again. I don't care about Twitter that much. I use it to and occasionally yap. Do not ever come to me being upset about retweeting nothing. I don't care. I will never speak to you ever again in my life. You will never hear from me again. It got to the point where people went to Lana to hopefully sort shit out, which didn't work at all, obviously. And Bunny ended up more upset, to which Bunny ended up slandering Lana's name to other people. Yeah. That Lana didn't even know, mind you. This leads to Bunny's boyfriend. Yes, she had another nigga and Susu at the same time. Basically trying to take Lana off of the figurine project. Lana basically said, I you then and cancel the project altogether. All right, bit this of an exaggeration. She didn't say it like that. It was a very tough decision and she just decided to pull the plug. Now this is where she hits the fan even more. Bunny goes to yapping even more. Sorry, I know we're on a point here. <laughs> the clips that are being used are getting me. I usually don't look at videos when I'm watching them like at all. And uh, the, the, the clips that are being used are insane. So good. <laughs> the editing is super good. More saying that Lana scammed her, which isn't true, but it kept the money she was paid from the pre-orders. In fact, Lana went 20K in debt, which is a ton of money. Cause yeah. you know, they have to like pay for the production and all that. Shit. It's not cheap to make a figurine. It, it's, it's not at all. This took a toll on her mental, her physical health and relationships, not to mention I think she also had to stop streaming to like sort everything out. In fact, she came back to streaming as a VTuber because she was scared to show her face. Yeah. Bunny was a flea on sight type of threat. And the thing was, Bunny still kept slandering her to try to push her out of the VTuber sphere, which obviously we got the good ending because Lana is still here killing it, but you know. That model is so cool. Sorry, let me move myself. I'm in the default VTuber position, therefore I'm blocking it. That model is so cool. <laughs> There is obviously way more to the situation. Again, go watch Lana explain it for herself in detail. And keep in mind that Lana came out with this statement two years ago. And the situation is dealing things that occurred, dealing things that occurred for, for years up until Lana spoke and probably shit kept going slightly after. Bunny was also being an emotionally manipulative partner to her yeah. now ex Susu. Now, when this happens, VTubers usually do an okay job at outing people to get mm -hmm. them to leave, at least. They used to, but Bunny stopped VTubing for years, but didn't really take sorry, a break. I'm sorry, it's like, I know, <laughs> I know that he's trying to make a point, but like, how am I supposed to be serious when you got this like Tyler One clip? And Any Tyler One clip, I will giggle. I, I, I just love him. I don't know. God, it's so good. Like the comedic timing is super good. That's why I wanted to show you. Cause like a lot of my audience doesn't necessarily watch a ton of VTuber stuff. And I was like, all right, we got to get you into some of these good VTubers because like this is the, his editing is really good. Like his, his videos are so good at all. He just went back to face cam streaming. Now, a lot of people are like, well, I would believe you changed. But instead of taking a break to focus on yourself, you jumped off of the VTuber strain yeah. and streamed with a face cam, which yeah. I can't understand and kind of what I agree with. But to play devil's advocate for a minute, if content creation happens to be your job, there's only so many days you can take off unless you're like Corey X Kenjin. Oh, calm down, so you could argue that she was just continuing to do her job 
What do you think? I could potentially understand both sides of that argument. Also, when I was getting done editing the bunny section of this video, uh, there has been many people that claim that Bunny has touched them and others inappropriately. That's yeah. there. Bunny denies this, but you know. So everything is in the description. You can read it for yourself. It's also, I think, I think it's a fair point to say, like, you got to do your job. But um, if you look at her Twitch tracker, she didn't really take any time off. <laughs> she was just like, okay, well, the VTuber and became like a titty ASMR streamer, like instantly and just moved on. And at this point, a lot of her career ultimately is actually pretty separate from her VTubing, you know, situation. I would venture to guess that most people who currently follow her content and watch her regularly have no idea about her past as a VTuber. That's why I think it comes off so to be like, oh, well, I kind of want to come to VTubing again because it was like, no, you shed that like snake skin when you ruined your own reputation and you're more successful now than you ever were as a VTuber. You are the most successful you have ever been by a wide margin. Why come back? Why stick your dick back in the beehive? Last time you were at the beehive, you shook it up. Why stick your dick back in there? The bees are mad. Now, now, uh, this, this example, I don't think I need to explain heavily like the last one. No. I'll explain the last one in such detail because it's something newer that I've never brought up before on the channel. Basically, Dr. Disrespect, at one point probably the biggest streamer in the world, uh, was outed to be a freaky ass, hungry, hungry, hungry glizzy ass, ass, who admittedly oh, well, A what? A who? <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Freaky, what was that? Freaky ass, hungry, hungry, glizzy ass. All right. Cheated on his wife. But uh, the most uh, crazy thing is that he has admittedly talked to a minor in Twitch whispers. It's not, this is not a thing to argue about. This yeah. ain't like support, you know, this, isn't, this isn't a, a huh? this isn't a cultural thing. It's not like some, some singular event at a time. This is a dude tried to a teenager. It used to get like some. Allegedly, a guy had inappropriate messages with a teenager, but yeah, kinda. I like the semantics or whatever the fuck out the way. This isn't like no 18 to like 17 or some shit like that. No, 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 yeah. no. This is a 30 something year old dude talking to a 70 year old. Yeah, to be clear, a 35 year old dude at the time who was married and had kids. At least one, if not two. I believe he has two. It's really not debatable. It was a person uh, of an unknown age, under 18, where there were inappropriate messages and he was 35 with a wife and kids. Uh, and yes, that is Cody Ko, which is kind of an odd example because Cody Ko also did weird stuff with a minor, unfortunately, because I used to really like Cody Ko and Noel Miller and it's really sad. King Gooner ass, ew. And he's, he's, he's back. I, 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 I can't, I can't believe it. Also, Cody Ko never, literally never even acknowledged it even slightly, to be clear. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm just gonna do my little DJ thing, which is insane because that absolutely happened. But he was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be a DJ and, uh, you know, play my little songs. Like, that was it. That was, the, he literally never acknowledged it at all, I don't believe. My eyes. And oh my people God. are welcoming him oh back. God. Granted, some of this could be satire, and a lot of it is just jokes, but there are people that are dead ass. Y'all niggas can't be for real. And Dr. Disrespect did go on vacation when the mm -hmm. whole Twitch whisper incident happened. Oh my God, this clip is so good. Talking on Twitch whispers is wild. The only thing I have on Twitch whispers is when I ask Michael Reeves to be a mod. <laughs> yeah. All I have in my Twitch whispers uh, is uh, people trying to get unbanned after having their unbanned request denied. And um, realistically, people who are like high key harassing slash stalking me trying to get in my DMs because I don't accept DMs anywhere. But now my Twitch whispers are off. So all of that stuff is at least eight months old. And I, I love that. I don't use Twitch whispers ever. And I never will. And there's no reason to because it's an awful messaging site when you could use Discord or Twitter or literally anything else. It's, I don't want to talk about that cringe. But in Dr. Disrespect's case, I don't see any room where he could have grown as a person because he went on vacation and then came back. And he's like yapping right now. Like, look, look at this clip. People want to show the message, release the messages, show the messages. The nigga is coping so hard. Yeah, I don't know, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. Yeah, and again, I believe he is still currently the second biggest streamer on YouTube. So, like, 
he definitely took a hit for sure. Like I have no doubt that his like his margins are smaller, that he will never quite hit the like the peaks he could have or has hit previously, but uh he's still insanely massive huge. I'm not going to go into too much detail about Kage, but just to Sorry. summarize, Kage was a member of the now non-existent VTuber group called the Mofongo Boys. Kage's big oopsie daisy was being involved in a hate group chat that plotted to take down Kenji. You wanted lobster, bitch. <laughs> McNugget yeah. and biting Kenji's style of content while also being two faced. I know yeah. it's a lot. Again, I, I love the clips of uh, so as someone who enjoys what we might call a wee bit of hating, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a hater. I the, it, the, the clips of him crying really do something in my evil little heart. Please cry more. It's delicious. Yum, 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 delicioso. I have two videos detailing everything. Way more Good in videos, depth. By the way. Go watch them if you want. This group chat included Kenji's doctor, Delve Love, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Kage got called out, but Kage did try issuing an apology, That's even tried to get on call with Kenji to explain himself, which resulted in Kenji hanging up on the nigga. Really oh, God, I love this clip so much. I love this clip so much. I love this clip so much. I'm so excited. I haven't seen this clip in a while. I love this clip. Wanted to. Also, the disrespect of Kenji being in that fuck ass model is so much funnier to me. I want to model like this so bad, but like the disrespect of having this like serious conversation and this dude like crying and being in this like ass model is so funny to me. I, I love this clip so Try to get on call with Kenji to explain himself, which resulted in Kenji hanging up on the nigga. I really wanted to. I really wanted to like, you know, I did. Why want did it take you so you long like to, to cut off Dub? Oh, yeah. So about cutting off Dub. After that, I realized my actions of what what I did, right? And I wanted to better myself. And I left. I ain't trying to do that. As a hater. <laughs> as a hater. As a, as a hater. Sometimes you don't need to hear people talk. Sometimes people don't deserve to give their defense. Hang up on that incredible beautiful cinema perfect down to the last minute detail perfection everything goes on his edgy kyan konicky tip and blacks out his vtuber this twitter is so which cringe. is still blacked out so but cringe. recently he's been back as a face cam streamer and not gonna lie i did sit in one of his streams to see chat's reaction and overall oh, it was positive nigga, I am perplexed. a lot of oh my god my oshi is back i missed you so much yeah. type you feel me? Which to me is surprising because on Twitter I saw the opposite reaction. I mean, it's Twitter. What the f did I expect? But of course, that's because people who be on Twitter don't necessarily come over onto the Twitch streams. They just like to bitch on Twitter. They don't actually have like a lot of power outside of there. I'm gonna out myself as how much of a hater I am. I've also sat through his streams. I was like, it wasn't. I would say I'm not usually a hate watcher, but I really. <laughs> I was doing a bit of hate watching on that one. I, I'm a little, I'm a little embarrassed to admit it. I just wanted to see what he was up to, and I'm gonna be honest, like that shit was lame as. <laughs> that shit was lame as hell. That shit was like, okay, yeah, he had his people. He was like chilling. He didn't have any like negativity in his chat, which was really wild to me. The entertainment was not entertainmenting, you know, like it was not slaying. It was not, it was not popping. His chat was not funny. And I can't stand going in a chat into a, like a stream where the chat is not funny. And uh, yeah, that, that's kind of all I had to say. I have seen Kage streams. I'm not much of a hate watcher. I don't really see the point usually, but I was curious. You know what I mean? I needed to know what he was doing after like all of the dramatics of like blacking out his social media and like, oh, I'm sorry. And, and then trying to repost videos with the Mafongo boys against their will. And all of that stuff, like, I had to know what he was doing in there. Of course, people that don't like him wouldn't be in the stream. It's also crazy because as soon as bro returned, he already f***ed up. <laughs> it ain't funny, but it is. He came back and then fumbled the ball immediately. He made so all bad. his old videos on his channel public again. Even the videos containing the other members of the Mofungo Boys without their consent. Some people might ask, hmm, hmm. why'd he do that? Money. Okay, okay. That's yeah. just I mean, <laughs> yeah, probably. I was actually legitimately shocked that he would even do something like that. Cause like, I guess to me, the audacity of it all is like, if I up like that and was outed for being like generally an onerous, unlikable, and I wanted to come back to content creation, I feel personally that I would do absolutely anything in my power to not confirm people's belief that I'm a giant.
Like, I would do anything to stay out of trouble. I would keep my nose clean. I would not do anything even slightly questionable as much as possible on social media, anywhere where anyone could see it. And so, like, to come back and just immediately f up like that is like, damn, you are dumb. Jokes. <laughs> we don't know for real. I'm gonna be honest. Ugh. Now, this is the most recent one. Double Love came back. But why? Yeah. Uh, that face you're making is the face I was making as well. Yeah. Now, she has a whole video detailing how she's going to move forward and her return, so you can go watch that if you want. To me, it kind of <laughs> felt like she was basically saying I'm a new person and that she isn't the same naive, quote unquote, self she was before, since what? this is a commentary what? channel and not a news channel. No, no. He's got a point. My opinion is on the little bit of the side eye type. You feel me? I, I still can't fathom how someone that has modded for a streamer Right. And not understand how things like sharing private social media accounts and legal names to others is like it is not cool. intergalactically that's just not cool. But then again, I didn't even think about that at the time when I was when I made a video about that too. Is like she was a mod for Kenji, was already very much in the VTuber community. How are you genuinely gonna say you don't know that doxing is not okay? You were in the community already. You were modded. You had other friends that were VTubers. And also in general, let's be so for real, doxing is wrong in general. Since when was it like, oh yeah, giving away people's personal information isn't that bad. It's like not even like that. Like what are, like, what do you mean you don't know? Like how? Like I've always had a problem with that, but like the whole fact that she was a mod for a VTuber, how do you not know that personal information is not protected? She wasn't a very good mod, <laughs> so who knows? I don't know. For those that don't know the full story, you can also refer back to the two videos. I mentioned it a lot. But basically, Dove shared IRL photos, private accounts, and the legal name of Kenji in a group chat a few years ago. Kenji was made aware but didn't want to put too much light on the situation, so laid low on speaking out. Years later, Kenji finds out that Dove is still making jokes about it. it is not, which is the fucking weird. Likely, that's just not cool. And also is a part of a group chat that is basically slandering Kenji and preying on his downfall. It was called the Kenji support group. So some people were like, well, it didn't start that way. And it's like, that's fair. It probably didn't originally start as like a Kenji hate group, but that's ultimately the impact that it had. And the only reason we know about it, because the point of a private DM group is typically that you don't ever see it. The fact that it came to light, it was literally called Kenji support group. And that's what they spent their time doing in there. Kenji then outed her. She tries to apologize and then she leaves. But now she's back. And, uh, People are happy? <laughs> now that I showed varying examples of people getting their ass shown to the sun and their return and some people's reactions, I pose the question, does getting canceled matter? No. How long does it take for a person to change? Now, getting- Uh, okay. Here is a nuanced take about the chain about uh, someone changing. Can a person change? Yes. Can a person change in four to five months? No. And can a person change if they continue to avoid accountability, hide the things they did, and not acknowledge the wrong that they've done and why it was so f***ed up? No. Can someone change if they want to and they hate the person they've become? Absolutely. But change is apparent in the way that a person moves. And people's desire to change is apparent in the way that a person moves. Actions speak louder than words type you know what I mean? Like, you can say, oh, I feel bad for what I did and I've changed. But when you're doing the same kind of, like, minimizing and avoiding type behaviors, I'm gonna be real, nobody gives a f And I wanna say, because this was so insane, I had made a video about the Kenji stuff around when it first happened, but I didn't post it because I was a gotcha streamer and I didn't know if it was worth posting, I'm gonna be honest. I called that Dove was gonna come back and she was, like, gonna ungraduate herself in that video. And what do you know, like less than five months later, it is insane. Canceled literally probably only matters if you allow yourself to get canceled in a way, or yes. you know, the platform kicks you off. And Ew. while people may hate on you if or when you return, eventually people will get tired or just tune you out. Similar to what I did when Kage returned. Also something I will probably be doing when Dove returns fully. And uh, Dove has refer returned fully, and I do want to make it clear, uh, out of all of these, Dove is not getting a warm welcome. I don't know about on her stream specifically. Her streams are very small. She had like 20 viewers or something. Uh, but on Twitter, at least, Miss Girl is getting absolutely blasted on every single tweet. Her replies are insane. Her quote retweets are insane. 
People are not happy that Dove is back and they are making it abundantly clear. There are quite literally hundreds of replies telling her like, we don't want you here. So I don't know about Kage specifically, um, but I guess that kind of goes to show like when you have your own audience, you can kind of just get around it. Dove specifically is like, <laughs> if you look at her Twitter, it is crazy. And I've never watched Dr. Disrespect or Bunny, so don't talk to me about that. And how long does it take for you to change as a person, especially from doing things that are malicious? Do you believe someone doesn't need to take a real break from what they're doing to reflect on themselves is simply going on a vacation enough is being gone for only a few months enough no. or does it take years me personally it probably depends on what goopy you got into but for a lot of the cases i detailed here i expected some of them to never return but what's your thoughts let me know now that i'm thinking back on it yon went crazy on kage but when dove came back it was like silent hush like i, I barely saw I know Kage, like, isn't a great person either, right. but Dove is the one that docks, bro. And no, I'm not yeah. saying to go hate on them. That's bitch. Like I said in the beginning, don't do that. It's just something I noticed and I thought it was interesting. All right. Yeah, I actually noticed that too. I was surprised by that. Other than myself, I, I saw very, very, very few videos acknowledging the fact that Dove had returned, which was super weird to me. And like, uh, I just, I, I just, I don't know why you wouldn't. Like, that person is like, more specifically a legitimate harm to VTubers than Kage. Because Kage, realistically, was like a crappy person and not a very good friend and was definitely like a two-faced person that you shouldn't trust or be around. Like, you wouldn't want to be friends with them. Dove sought out personal information and shared it with other people. Like, that is more specifically like, hey, we should put some warning signs and red flags up around this person coming back. Um, and it's not like she changed her names or anything or changed her account. She literally just got a new model and some new assets, I think. And it was just so very interesting to me how quiet that was. And I guess maybe that's because like, Kage, I always want to call him Cage. Maybe I will because it's like disrespectful because I know how you're supposed to say his name. But maybe Cage is just like, it's just like sassy. So we'll call him Cage. Cage uh, was more clouded because he was part of Mafongo Boys. So maybe that's what it is. But it was very weird. I thought that was so strange how quiet people were about that. Hey, I'm going to stop bothering you now. Oh, and I got a second channel that uploads daily. It's just a bunch of random so don't expect anything like too crazy. All right, I'll stop talking now. Thank you. Uh, you guys should go subscribe to Static Tokyo. I think he makes really cool videos. Um, his edits are goaded. So go uh, subscribe to him, watch his videos and stuff. I really appreciate the good content. Yeah, the point is, is like being canceled only works if you care. Those are my thoughts about it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this was interesting and illuminating and very poggers. Please love yourself. Drink water. Take your medicine. Be a good person to other people. Be grateful for other people being in your life and being supportive of you. And uh, be, you know, an overall kind human being that people want to be around. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. You'll get canceled on Twitter and then ignore it. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Love yourselves. Bye.